Hey everybody. Um, so I did something new and I know I'm all <clears throat> gravelly, my eyes are swollen. I have massive allergy head today. Really not clear why, but I did uh, take an antihistamine, but wow, I am allergy head today, all 100%. So just bear with me. Um, thank you. <laughs> not like you all <laughs> needed to hear that, but I just sound and look extra weird today. So anyway, um, yesterday evening, um, I just felt like making a video. And so, and I was just full of energy. And um, so that'll be out uh, probably before this one. So I did try it and um, I'm glad I did because I'm gonna keep this pretty short this morning. <clears throat> wow, I, I mean, my, I woke up and my eyes were almost just shut. So, um, with swelling, um, anyway, blah, 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 not a big deal. Um, onward and upward. I do think while I was out and about yesterday, I may have brought home an energy. And so I think I'm going, cause I can sense it and it, I, I can just feel, it doesn't feel right in the house. So I am going to do some clearing work today and make sure my house and my home space is empty and clear. And I'm going to move on anything that needs to move on that way just so um there was a reason why i made that video um earlier rather than today right now okay rambling so this is the one i picked for us today and this is one that i just treasure it says believe so have happy coffee time with your believe with your fairy and dragonfly oh Mm. Well, that's good. All right, let's get on to the reading. What do you say? On to the reading. Okay. Um, this is the Higher Self Oracle um, by, I always forget the name, Deanna Marie Riddick. Okay. All right. And that's what it looks like. All right. So back the deck very cool all right um what is the message for the highest and best good for the collective today what is the message to focus on today for the collective for the highest and the best good what is the message for the collective for the highest and the best good yeah i did pick something up uh, I did pick an, a spirit up because they're not and i know exactly where not because i'm seeing it it was at i went uh walking in a park bike area for a little bit yesterday and this person is not happy that I'm doing readings because they are uh, unhappy in general guys we we don't get to choose a lot of the circumstances directly but we can work to change them and we can choose how we respond to them and how we get out of them and what we do about it very often you know, no one can control our thoughts. And I don't want you to think I've had just a cakewalk of a life. It's been an extraordinarily difficult one. But this is not where we talk about, you know, you don't, you don't want to hear about that. And you know what? And it's not going to serve me any, any good or purpose to go into it. But I've worked really hard to get out of not just one violent situation or away from one narcissistic person. I have worked my entire life. So, um... You know, I'm not a counselor, I'm not a therapist, that's why I advocate people go see them frequently. But what I do know is that you can control your thoughts. Okay, so believe that you can do better. Believe that you have some value and then figure out how to do something about it. That's what I've had to do my whole life. So I feel your pain. And I've asked, why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? And it's like, you know what? Where's that getting me? I just got to do something about it. So, you know. And pretty much usually without any help. So, <coughs> excuse me. Just do what you need to do to get yourself safe, healthy, and in a place where you can focus on things that are more powerful in your life than the immediate circumstances and things that make you genuinely happy. All right, this one. 
All right, so this is what popped out while I was talking about that. We've had this card from this deck, I think, every time I've used it. Forgiveness. This isn't just forgiving others, it's forgiving yourself. And intuition. You intuitively know what you need to do, what patterns need to be broken, and how to break them. Um, if you need to remove yourself from certain people to do that, then do so. I've had to do that repeatedly. Um, Spirit, what else? What else is the message to focus on today to help us understand how to live our best lives while we are in this incarnation? Mind, body, spirit, it's all got to be connected. So, spirit, please, what is the message for the collective today for how we can best live our best lives? All right, they said take the one right off the top. Love, wow, wow, wow. Message is love, and it's not um, love to the point of depletion and exhaustion and unhealthy love, but first love yourself. Love yourself. And if no one else does, if the people who you think are the most important people in your life that should love you but don't, that's their issue, you know? They may... They may have whatever problem going on. If you're not hurting them intentionally, you know, then love yourself. It's when people look eternally outside of themselves for validation that usually it's things never go well. You've got to learn how to love yourself first. Okay? Hmm bringing me to Louise Hay and her heart thought affirmation cards. Okay. Um, <coughs> man, I am just, uh, all right. Um, all right. Oh, there's a gentle energy coming in too. Gentle loving energy coming in. Call on your guides to support you. Call on your guides to help you. But heads up, you all. <laughs> okay. If you if you do it like, well, I know you never helped me, but blah, blah, blah. what? What have you said that to a person? They, you know, they'll still come through for you, but you're you're going to be resistant and not hear the message they have for you. Okay. So just remember, you got to do. We've got to do our part. And, and understand that very often situations didn't happen and weren't created overnight, so it might take a little while to fix them or get out of them or find your own way. Now, what is the message for the collective today? And you know what? Again, just believe. Hope brings opportunities. Hope because it means that you are hopeful and it energizes you. If you have hope, and sometimes it's hard to have hope because I've been there too, but there's got to be something better. And that's what you have to hold on to. So always believe that you are capable of more, you deserve more, and you can do more. Don't wait for someone to do it for you. Okay. All right. So, what is the message from the Heart Thoughts cards today? Okay. I'm going to take this one because this is the one. All right. I'm connected with a higher power. Why, yes, we are. The wisdom and intelligence of the universe is mine to use. I trust in life to support me. And what's the underlying word in this? The message of hope and peace. Hope. Okay. I express myself in positive ways. I am a magnet for miracles. That's a good affirmation to say. 
I would say that repeatedly. I'm an, I am a magnet for miracles. What's back say? When I change my consciousness and forgive those I need to forgive, including ourselves, mir healing miracles occur. Man, that is so true. That goes back to that um, first card about um, uh, forgiveness. I'm going to show it to you. This one's important. That is a great affirmation. That is going to be the affirmation for the day. Say it with me, everybody. I am a magnet for miracles. I am a magnet for miracles. I am a magnet for miracles. When I change my consciousness and forgive those I need to forgive, I'm adding, including ourselves, healing miracles occur. And that can be in all areas of life. Yes, they can. Okay. Now, one more. <laughs> this is going to be fairly short. This is the last one, but not too terribly short. <laughs> I need another drink. This is my first cup today. I got up, I actually got up a little bit. Well, yesterday I was up at 2.30 in the morning. Today I got up at 4.30 and the cats were... Mm being creative about how they wanted me to get up. <laughs> I tried to lie there until five. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. I know, but it's a luxury that I could. It was a luxury and I'm grateful that I have a bed to sleep in. It is a luxury and I'm grateful that I have a safe place for my cats and for me. Um, I am listing everything I am grateful for today, even with the allergy head. It's like I am grateful that I am up and breathing and that there's a, a non-drowsy antihistamine that I can take. <laughs> you know, find your joy where you can, people, and don't let anyone steal it. Someone who, uh, if you're around someone, I keep coming back to this, if, if you're around someone with toxic energy, Maybe that's motivation to change the situation. Nothing will motivate you faster. Okay. Ooh, this is pretty. Royal blue and gold dragon. Strengthens you to send you power with wisdom. Boy, we could all use a little of that, couldn't we? Hmm. All right. Man, that writing is tiny and my eyes are really blurry right now. Hold on. Okay, I know, it's just the light ring shows up in it, but... Um, awaken to your own majesty. Wear your cloak of power and pride. Woo! I like that. Wear your cloak of power and pride. And this blue gold dragon is carrying a cloak and a sword. The sword of truth. The sword of justice. Okay. All right. Now, that one just kind of fell out while I was talking about that other stuff. What is the message? What is the last message to leave on today for the collective? What is the last message for the collective to leave on today for this morning's thought? Do you guys remember? I just got the, the Jack Handy uh, skits on SNL on Saturday Night Live from years and years ago. Jack Handy, the I think that was the name of this. <laughs> they were just these awful messages and that would degrade into a horror story by the end of it. For some reason, that just came up. So I'm not trying to push toxic positivity, which what is what that was. The skit was poking fun at, basically. Um, I'm not trying to push toxic positivity or fake positivity, although there is a certain element of fake it till you make it when you say, I can do this, I can do this, I'm going to go apply for that job, I'm going to go do this, I'm going to get back into a class, I'm going to go there, I'm going to start working on my health, I'm going to start cutting out so much sugar, I'm going to, whatever it is. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with being positive. Okay, just don't set yourself up for failure and say, I'm only going to eat 800 calories a day. Oh, if you want to die, okay. You know, but um, 
that that's you know that's just too restrictive and hard to do so not healthy anyway so don't set yourself up for failure okay and then try to say well positivity doesn't work okay now black dragon hold on I need my glasses again hold on you all um, black dragon cocoons you so that your divine potential grows ah meditate reflect reflect undergo a metamorphosis okay so this is about change i was wondering man where am i going with this today there's a whole lot of you know uh it just it's an odd it feels like an odd reading today and some of it might be because of whomever i need to clear out he's not quite ready to go yet so i'll deal with that off camera but um so it's okay to, if you're not sure what you want to do, it's okay to stop, pause, cocoon yourself, go inward, ask spirit for direction and help and guidance, and call on nature. I'm just hearing this. So for someone who's really connected with nature, someone who's really connected with the natural world, with the earth, with grass, with trees, with flowers, with plants, like you like to put your hands in the dirt, for someone who's really connected to that or that's where you find your greatest peace but you've never quite made that connection maybe you're even in an urban setting without much of a green space but you just know that when you're on a sidewalk if there's a tree you want to hold and touch it put your hand on the bark or hands um if you are that person connect with nature today if at all possible even if it's rain put a little cup out the window catch a few drops put it in your hand and and hold it put it on your skin connect with the natural world in whatever way you can do it um that's going to bring healing for someone and it's going to bring heart healing and heart soothing yeah thank you spirit someone needs to be nurtured and mothered <coughs> and sometimes for those of us who didn't have that when you need nurturing and mothering you go to mother earth you take the nature uh, the natural world and the healing of nature and you let that nurture you um if you believe in the divine mother then go to her and ask her to help you um spirit guides and guardians okay so what they are saying is don't let one human parent or both human parents whatever the case may be cause you to have this um kind of a knee-jerk reaction of well all mothers are bad or all mothers are this or all fathers are bad or all fathers are this or you know whatever the issue might be they're not and it was part of the evolution and growth uh, i'm also hearing that some people sign in and sign up for difficult families when they come in and i think this was me too because you think you know on the other side and i um, you feel like, okay, this provides what I will need to learn the lessons I need, and in exchange, I can help change the dynamic of maybe the family life or the people in it. And sometimes, you know, free will, hey, that's part of being human. Free will takes over. We don't get to dictate that other people will change. We just, it, opportunities present themselves and usually that means through difficulty but um if they choose not to that doesn't mean that like we can't i chose i chose to be different and live a different life um but i also on a very personal note when i was very very young from an abusive home to an abusive marriage and got out of it the skin on my teeth um as the saying goes i knew i didn't have proper coping skills so when i was in my mid-20s i didn't have two nickels to rub together i barely could buy food to eat and i made sure i put myself in therapy i found someone who would work on a sliding scale and i it, it was hard but i'm like this is about me and i had to do it and it was a wonderful woman who is not in practice any longer but that was a long time ago, y'all. So that's why I advocate so heavily. But the first person I saw was like 
part of a state function that was covered and uh it was a man and he was creepy and he freaked me out and i'm like no and he just wanted to medicate me and i'm like um no you just want to zone me out and i didn't trust him anyway so when that radar goes up and you're like ooh, some something feels creepy trust it you know um so then I went digging around and I found this this lovely therapist who would just sit and listen. And it was the first time anyone had ever been nurturing or ever just listened, even though I was paying for it, but it was a sliding scale. Not, I mean, it was barely a fraction of what she took um, normally. And so, of course, I didn't even have insurance, so I couldn't pay for it. I'm telling you all of this because I'm sitting here not giving you just fluffy advice that feels good because I'm doing just fine. I worked my butt off to be fine. Okay? A lot of you have too, and I know you have. So take what resonates and leave the rest. But I promise you, it can change. Things can change. Things can get better. But it's got to start with one thought. You got to believe. You got to believe in yourself. And then you got to you got to ask spirit to help you find the right people and the right resources and the way to cover it and the way to pay for it. And you know, you have to believe. You have to have hope, and you have to want it to be to be right for you. Um, I'm sorry I haven't linked a video for the energy retrieval or hope retrieval or any of that, but um, I, uh, <laughs> I've had some long days and I still have to figure out how to do that. So uh, thank you for being patient. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Your struggles have made you brilliant and made you, it's, it's, I think most people know about the diamond reference. You know, diamonds are a piece, start out a piece of coal, but it's under pressure, they become a diamond. But what I'm actually seeing is a piece of broken glass. I'm actually in my head visualizing a piece of broken, and I'm, it's not me, Spirit's given me this, because I can tell, because they're right here, and my ear is going, <laughs> so they want me to say this. Just remember, some of the prettiest necklaces and jewelry that, that you can find when you go to the beach, it's made out of sea glass. Sea glass is just a piece of broken glass. It was someone's trash. But the ocean rolled it in the sand and in the waves and smoothed the edges until it became what looks like a lovely pebble that somebody made into a piece of wearable art. And that, I think, is the message. It just took me a while to get here. All right, everybody. Thank you. I love you all. You can do this. You can do this. It's your life. You have free will. Live it. Live it fully. Thank you. Bye.